Hey guys, in this session, we're uh, doing question number five. Remember chapter 23, Gauss law. Chapter 23, Gauss law. Question number five, not problem number five. In figure, so we have a figure here. In figure, an electron is released between two infinite non-conducting sheets uh, that are horizontal and have uniform surface charge density sigma plus and sigma minus as indicated. The electron is subjected to the following three situations uh, involving surface charge uh, densities of and sheet uh, separation. Rank the magnitudes of the electrons and acceleration uh, greatest first. So we have two charged metallic sheets infinite. One is having a charge density of sigma plus, the other is having a charge density of sigma minus. We are given three situations. In the first situation, sigma plus is equal plus 4 sigma and sigma minus is equal to minus 4 sigma and separation is D. Separation is D. Then in the second case, in the second case, sigma plus is equal to, this continues, sigma plus is equal plus 7 sigma and sigma minus, okay, let me write, sigma minus is equal to minus sigma and separation is equal to 4D. Uh, this is sigma plus. And then the third situation is sigma plus is equal plus 3 sigma, sigma minus is equal to minus 5 sigma and separation is equal to 9D. So these are the three situations. And in these three situations, we have to rank, for these three situations, we have to rank the acceleration of the electron. Okay, acceleration of the electron according to the magnitude of acceleration of electron. Now, after going through this chapter, you must have learned that field due to an infinite sheet is uniform. Okay, uniform, it doesn't depend on the distance and is given by E is equal to single sheet, sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. Magnitude of the field, magnitude of sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. For a positive charge, for a positively charged sheet, uh, field is away from the sheet. And for a negatively charged sheet, field is towards the sheet. So plus and minus has to do with the direction then. So this one, I'll call this 1 and I'll call this 2. E1 will be downward away from the sheet and will be equal to sigma plus divided by 2 epsilon 0. And then due to the negatively charged sheet, field will be towards the negative. Okay, towards the negative. So E2 is equal, magnitude of E2 will be equal to magnitude of E minus, let me explicitly write it, divided by 2 epsilon 0. So the two fields are in the same direction. So total field will be simple addition of the two. But remember, this is magnitude of E minus. Sigma minus. We don't have to take the minus sign. This is just the magnitude. Now, acceleration of the electron, acceleration of electron is simply E E divided by M. Force divided by mass. Force is E E. Now, E in all the three cases is the same. This charge of the electron, universal constant. Mass of the electron, universal constant. So, A is directly proportional to the field between the two. Remember, it does not depend on the distance. Field does not depend on the distance. So separation between the two places does not matter. Okay, does not matter. So acceleration is directly proportional to the field. So greater the field between the two plates, greater is the acceleration. Smaller the field, smaller is the acceleration. So we'll have to check uh, which one has the greatest field, which situation has the greatest field. So let's go for that. In the first case, let me write it here only. In the first case, field will be equal to, remember both of them are in the same direction. So you have to add their magnitudes, okay? Sigma minus, just the magnitude of sigma minus. So 4 sigma plus 4 sigma, only the magnitude. So that will be 8 sigma, 8 sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. So this is 4 sigma divided by epsilon 0. This is field in the first case, okay? Field in the first case. Now field in the second case. 7 sigma plus sigma is 8 sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0, which is again 4 sigma divided by epsilon 0. This is field in the second case between the two plates. And then the third one, field is equal to 3 sigma plus 5 sigma. Remember, we don't take the minus sign, we just take the magnitude. 
फाइव प्लस थ्री इज एट एट सिग्मा डिवाइडेड बाई टू एप्सलॉन जीरो विच इज अगेन फोर सिग्मा बाई एप्सलॉन जीरो सो फील इन ऑल द थ्री केसेज द सेम फोर सिग्मा बाई एप्सलॉन जीरो फोर सिग्मा बाई एप्सलॉन जीरो फोर सिग्मा बाई एप्सलॉन जीरो इफ फील इन ऑल द थ्री केसेज द सेम देन एक्सेलरेशन इन ऑल द थ्री केसेज द सेम सो ऑल टाई ऑल टाई ऑल ऑफ देम आर हैविंग द सेम एक्सेलरेशन ओके